All right, welcome back to Honda 5 Sports Live. Live in the studio with us, we have seven-year NFL veteran mm -hmm. and former Atlantic star David Clowney. He could be anywhere tonight. He's right here with us. Now, of course, lots to get to NFL-related, mm -hmm. but before we get to any of that, we want to discuss your 10th David Clowney Foundation Charity yes. Weekend. Ten years, yes. obviously a huge milestone. Mm -hmm. So beginning there, what does it mean to be able to be in the position to give back to the community that you came from for 10 years running now? Man, it's, it's a blessing. I mean, I never would have thought I would have made it to 10 years. I mean, at year four and year five, I really wanted to just shut it down, mm -hmm. you know, just uh, trying to make everything happen. But uh, I'm glad it's, it, it, it's continued to keep going. I'm glad it's improving. I'm glad we've been able to just continuously give scholarships away and be able to help kids in our community. All right, so take us through the weekend. We begin on Friday, Friday I yep, believe, with yep, a bowling Friday, event. Yep. Tell us about everything going on. Okay, down this so weekend. this Friday, uh, we start off with the 10th annual David Clowney Foundation Celebrity Bowling Event. Um, I have about 50 NFL players that'll be in town. Um, confirm all throughout the NFL. Um, Saturday morning, we have a, a huge kickball tournament, different high schools, different, uh, my team is Team NFL, um, all NFL players. We got people flying in from Atlanta, um, just having a huge kickball tournament. And then Saturday night, our 10th annual celebrity basketball game. So we're gonna keep that going on. We're gonna have all these NFL guys and have the city come out and just have a good time. Uh, the bullathon, the kickball event, the basketball mm -hmm. game, that's all great. But the reason we're doing this all for the scholarship money, mm -hmm for the students. Uh, mm -hmm. Just tell us what goes into uh, the scholarship money, where that money's going, and what it means to you to be able to give that. Well, for me, it's uh, a personal uh, thing for me. You know, uh, I always wanted to go to a four-year university, but my mom didn't have enough money to send me to a community college, let alone a four-year university. Um, so I just wanted to be able to help students that have that dream of, of continuing their education, but just can't afford it. Um, and if anybody has ever had to pay for school before, they know how expensive that can be. So um, all weekend long, all these events are gonna, it's just a huge fundraiser weekend, and we're gonna raise this money to give out scholarships to inner city youth. You know, so uh, just hoping that everybody uh, comes out and donates, and you know, if we raise $20,000, we're gonna give out $20,000. If we raise 10,000, we're gonna give out 10. So the more money we raise, the more money we're able to give out in scholarship funds. All right, well, you mentioned already a lot of people already confirmed for this mm -hmm. event. So tell us who's on the guest list. Who can we expect to see out this oh, weekend? Oh, man, uh, University of Miami fans, you can expect uh, Damian Barry and uh, Ed Reed and uh, Brian McKinney, you know, Super Bowl champions, uh, Santana Moss, uh, Anquan Bolden, a uh, personal friend of mine, Abe Elam, um, guys that are from right here in Palm Beach County, Broward County, and Dade County. Um, the list goes on and on. Jacoby Jones, Edron James. Uh, oh, man, it's, it's, it's too many to remember and too many to name, but uh, you definitely be able to see them, definitely be able to get pictures, autographs with all these guys at all three events. All right, quickly, a big topic of debate going on in the NFL right mm -hmm. now, especially with the new ruling taking place last yeah. week, players protesting during the national anthem. What's your take on that? What's your take on players expressing their beliefs, their views, and everything the NFL and the owners are trying to do to stop it? Um, I, to me personally, um, it kind of hurts. You know, it's just, you know, it's supposed to be a country of freedom of speech. And uh, it's just sad that, you know, for the guys that are professional athletes, you know, they just can't speak up what they feel is right. Um, to be able to get fined to just for standing up or sitting down, you should have that right to do either or. And, um, as professional athletes or anybody in the, in the world shouldn't have that right taken from them just because they feel like speaking up. So hopefully it gets better. I think it'll hurt us in the long run, but you know, we'll have to wait and see. All right, well, David Clowney in the house, be sure to come out this weekend, contribute and support the 10th annual David Please. Clowney Foundation Please. Charity Weekend. That's all the time we have for Honda 5 Sports Live. Of course, we'll be back here next week, but for everyone here at WPTV News Channel 5 and ESPN West Palm, have a great night.